and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about nail polish, specifically about this Nail Zinc London nail polish. I received this in my Ipsy subscription for November. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this company, I'm going to tell you uh, a bit about the product, and I'm going to tell you what I think of it. Uh, I don't talk about nail polish a lot on my channel, mostly because I don't use a ton of nail polish. I have it on right now, the one that we're going to be talking about, and I'll show you my entire sort of collection of nail polishes. <laughs> this is it, so like 10 of them maybe. Um, a couple of these I received in subscription boxes, specifically, well just one that's here right now, the Trust Fund Beauty one. There is another one. Um, that I've received and I don't know where it is at this moment. Some of these are like really old, like that one's separated. I'm just gonna throw that in. Whoa! <laughs> uh, this Rimmel one is pretty old too. Uh, ooh, I don't even like the color of that one. That's an old Revlon one. Um, so I'm just gonna move those out of the way. And then basically what I have left here is one Essie nail polish. That is the Find Me an Oasis. And then a number of Essence gel nail polishes. I'll just show you some of those. And then their uh, associated top and base coat. I... So I don't bite my nails or anything. My nails tend to grow really long and then I'll notice that it's bothering me when I'm typing and then I'll cut them as short as I can again and the process repeats. And I love the way it looks when my nails are painted but I hate the way it looks when my nail polish is chipping. And then it, you know, becomes this whole thing about having to take it off and like if it's the morning and I'm trying to get ready for work and then there's a whole 10 minute process of taking my nail polish off. It's just, it's the lazy side of me coming out. In the list of things that I will do as part of my regular routine, painting my nail polish, doing my nails doesn't tend to be up there. Um, I know I can just do it when I'm watching TV, but I never seem to. I'll also say that missing in here is that I bought a uh, Essie quick dry top coat, which was wonderful, until I took it out to put on top of this and it was completely dried up. And I've had it for less than six months. Like I'd use maybe a third of the bottle, if that. I don't watch a lot of nail polish art channels. Uh, I watch Simply Nail Logical, but I think we can all agree if you are a watcher of her that she is not really nail art anymore. It's more entertainment in different ways. Um, and I've watched like Jenna Marbles do her crazy nail stuff that she does, but I'm not really a nail person. And while I sometimes think that the nail art stuff looks really cute, um, you know, with like stripes and gradients and um, polka dots and all of that, I just don't find the workplaces that I have worked in um, find it professional. It's just not been something that I could wear to work. Even wearing some of these brighter colors, like a blue nail polish or a bright green, would not have been professional in some of the places that I've worked. Now that I've told you a little bit about my approach to nail polish, let me tell you a little bit about Nail Zinc London. I had not heard of this brand before. For some reason, I went into this thinking this was going to be some new indie startup brand. We do tend to get a lot of that as brands I haven't heard of in our subscription boxes because it's people trying to get the word out about their brand. But that is not true because this is the UK's number one nail brand. It was founded by Thea Green in 1999 and has quickly become one of the most innovative, fast growing, independent beauty businesses in the market, with new brands being added to portfolio. Uh, it's renowned for being the first premium nail bar in the UK, boasting 16 luxury destinations in stores. Um, it distributes to 25 countries. It is sold in Sephora. I do believe the Sephoras that I go to don't have nail polish sections anymore. Let me know if that's true of the Sephoras near you as well. Uh, and also they have recently expanded to start offering um, makeup and beauty products in addition to nail polish. They are cruelty free and not only cruelty free, they are PETA approved, which I feel like is an even higher bar to reach than just being cruelty free. Uh, and some of their polishes, including this one, are six free, which basically means that they leave out all the things that you don't want. Um, things like alcohol that can be drying for your nails and a lot of other chemicals that maybe you don't want absorbing into your skin. 
Now, as far as pricing, they're not, you know, the cheapest nail polishes in the world, and they're all priced on their website in pounds, which I always estimate to be a little less than two Canadian dollars. Uh, their nail polishes generally sell for about 15 pounds, which, you know, you'd be looking at like 25 Canadian dollars when you do the exchange rate there. So they are on the pricey side. Um, for a comparison, I think here about 10 to $12 in the drugstore you would get Essie, and these Essence ones that I like so much are like $3 in the uh, drugstore, which is why I have so many of them, because it's fun to be able to play around with colors without putting out that much money. Speaking about this product in particular, this one right here is only 10 ounces of product, whereas generally for the nails ink polishes, you are going to get 14 milliliters. Um, so this is a smaller size. Uh, they actually have some collections of nail polishes and in those you get the ones that appear to be this size. So this is more of their like sampler size than their full size. And again, this is 15 pounds for the full size of this. This formula is described as being their Nail Pure Six Free Nail Polish Formula. And this particular shade is called Montpellier, or Montpellier, depending on how you want to pronounce it, Walk. Um, so Nail Pure performs with all the same qualities as a traditional polish. It offers a glossy, fast drying finish with the same long lasting color as the whole Nails Ink range. The formula is alcohol free and is enriched with Nail Ink's patented Regenerating Complex, a twofold aldehyde, zinc, and calcium blend that boosts the production of keratin for harder, stronger, and healthier nails. Uh, nails Ink Nail Pure is formulated to be six free, meaning it does not contain phthalates, including DBP, toluene, formaldehyde, formaldehyde resin, animal derivatives, or camphor. So everything about this sounds like the product itself is really what you'd want. It leaves out the ingredients you don't want in there. It has some ingredients in there to be good to your nails. Uh, and let's talk about my impressions of this product because I'm going to start out by saying when I first saw this and it's this very nude color and let me just sort of show you that close up. You know, it's it's a little darker than skin tone for me. It would be a very light nude lipstick on me. I was a little worried it was gonna make my hands look washed out. Um, when I use the Find Me an Oasis nail polish here, which is a very light blue, it seems to just really set off the pink undertones in my skin and actually doesn't look that um, nice on me. It doesn't accentuate my hands in a nice way. In putting this on, as I have it on right now, I actually find it to be really nice looking, really complimentary looking, and also very professional and very luxe looking. Like I kept looking at my hands and thinking it looked like I had a very upmarket kind of manicure. So I love, love, love the color of this. This would be absolutely perfect shade for anybody who has a more professional or maybe conservative kind of work environment. It just is complementary to at least the tone of my skin, while at the same time, um, yeah, just looking very luxurious and very professional. I'll say that as a plus of this product, as well as uh, I did find that this dried pretty quick. I am terrible for messing up my nail polish because I just can't sit still for long enough, and I did find this dried quite quickly. Um, I did put on two coats of this and feel like I am just on the edge of needing a third coat. I wouldn't say it's completely opaque because I can sort of, it would probably look good with a third coat on there is what I'm saying. So when I was testing this, I tested it without a top coat, partly because my top coat was all dried up, but also because I have some nail polishes like the one here from Trust Fun Beauty that will last for you know, four, five, six days without a top coat on it. Um, so I did that and my first problem with this was that it really flooded the cuticle for me. I um, found it to be a very watery sort of consistency, which meant you really have to go in like very uh, thin layers. Um, with some of the nail polishes I use, you can do a little bit of a thicker layer and it will sort of stay on there and then dry and then maybe you only need to do two layers for it. This one, because it is such a watery formula, if you try to put too much on the nail, it just floods down into the cub cuticle and you're gonna have to do some cleanup afterwards. Um, other than that, the application was fine. As I said, it did uh, dry really quickly, but it has, 
you know, in about two days or maybe a little less than two days, it did start to sort of chip and pull away a little bit and just isn't looking so good. Like this is sort of day three, I believe, yes. And this would just be the end of when I would be able to wear this and still have it look you know, professional for the office. I totally understand that if I have a top coat on here, it would last for a good amount of time, but the nail polish itself doesn't seem to have that kind of lasting power. You really would have to do base coat, you know, three layers and a top coat to get the optimal performance out of this, which I have not found I need to do with all nail polishes. So will I continue to use this? Yes, because it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Would I purchase this myself? Probably not. If I was going to pay that amount for a polish, I probably would look at something in like Trust Fun Beauty or OPI, um, something that I know makes polishes that last longer, uh, or I would look for a really low cost one and know that I'm gonna have to do the whole process of like base coat and top coat. This ending up being about $25 for 14 milliliters uh, would be on the high end. I would just expect better performance for it. But I would love to hear what you guys think of this, if you have received this. I know one person already told me that they really enjoyed the color, which I do too, and also the formula. So maybe people who are a little more advanced in doing their nails have different wants and expectations from their formulas. Maybe I am just trying to rush things too much by doing sort of thicker coats. Uh, let me know all of that in the comments. I do love hearing from you guys. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.